Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. Today we're gonna do a photo mode overview and this is Dragon's Dogma 2 photo mode that we are gonna check out. But before we get started, I do have a small message for Capcom. あのね、カプコンさん、すいません。ちょっといいですか僕はシノビです。えっと、バーチャルフォトグラファーですね。ちょっとフォトモードコンサルタントの仕事もしたことがありますから、えっと、カプコンのフォトモードはいつもゲーム
and then you have the blur strength if you will uh, and you have two different ones one for uh, the near plan and one for the background so you will be able to blur or unblur the foreground and separately the the background you can also make it as your as you like so this is pretty good i like this type of system uh it's uh it's really convenient for virtual photography and for yeah it so it it works i mean the transition between the blur and the sharp areas are it, it's a bit rough and playing with the blur overall feature will help you making it a bit smoother but not much not much so anyways this setting is not too bad again just uh you you just have to be on your on your character brightness so you can brighten up and down it's it's very it's it's cool the range is cool you can go full white almost and full black almost and it's it's it reacting pretty well in my opinion vignette you can put it on or off it's on by default but you know it's 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 okay it's okay it's, it's actually not a bad tab here the vignette coverage of course the bloom you it's off by default which is cool uh, i'm not sure if it's for everyone or if it's because i changed in my settings i took the bl bloom off but you can still have it in photo mode if you want which is not the case for uh, chromatic aberration we'll see that filters filters are, are decent seriously i i mean not groundbreaking but um I actually like them. You cannot play with saturation or contrast, so you will have to use this type of filters and play with the filter intensity, which is cool to have. No complaint here. Lens distortion, it's off, but you can put it on and then you can play either with the, the reddish being up front or the, the bluish being up front. You have the, the possibility to reset a current setting like this or to reset all the settings with one push button, which is cool. But once you hide the UI, you won't be able to change the settings. Chromatic aberration is on by default, but I took it off of my settings, so I don't see any difference personally if I put it off or on, so I guess it's because I took it off. Frame type, uh, it's just square rectangle, which is probably a uh, 9 per 16, which is bad. Let's check the last video we made. A letterbox that is probably close to a 21.9, but it feels a bit, a bit bigger. I don't know. A 4x3 and nothing. The logo type, you have uh, the choice between game title and nothing. So game title. There it is, and then you have the pre-selected nine positions, which is a bit useless, but you cannot change the size of it or the orientation of it. So, you know, we talked about this a lot, but it's pretty much useless to us. Capcom logo, same, exactly the same. You can place it on nine uh, places and you cannot change anything about it. Useless. Uh, copyright, so you can have it only on the bottom line, so you cannot really proper see, properly see it now, but it's uh, down there in on the right, on the left, or in the middle. Use less, it's just a small uh, Capcom. I, I don't know who wants to use this, no, like literally no one. At least it's off by default, so that's, that's a, a progress, I guess. Screen filter, I'm not sure what it does. Maybe it's another one of the, the settings that I took off in my options, so I don't see any difference. You have the HUD display possible, meaning that you would have your health bar and you know every everything HUD in the game uh, showing in the shot. Why not? But I can't really see the point myself as a virtual photographer. And then the grid that you can take off or on. And that's it, that's it. So, not being able to move the camera is a huge, huge mistake. And it really breaks the whole point of a photo mode. But if they patch this, if they 
if they listen to my message in introduction and if they do something about it it could be an actual good photo mode it has everything almost everything needed brightness you know like some cool features simple really simple but usable usable but not now because you you cannot do anything else than this so that's it guys i'm gonna leave you here uh, with uh, um, i'm gonna try to take a shot and see what we can get and please if you like this content on virtual photography please subscribe to my channel check out my other content because i have a lot of different things everything related to virtual photography photo modes making and um, and yeah i'll see you in the next videos in the meantime you keep snapping I mean, somehow you cannot even center your own character in the frame if you want to do a vertical. That That's pretty amazing for something that has a grid. And uh, it's, it makes no sense. Okay. I mean, it's a cool, <laughs> it's a cool framing here, but I wish I could choose it. <laughs> that's really, that's really weird. Okay.